Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to measure the hydrogen um, that's produced in the new device we have here, the new H2 uh, infusion device with this H2 blue hydrogen test kit. You just put the drops in a little container here in the water. Well, I'll show you how it works. Okay, first what I'm going to do, I'm going to test the, just tap water. So we have something to go against here. Oh, by the way, this stuff, um, this blue stuff, I forget what it's called, but it can, uh, well, here it is. H2 is a novel redox solution capable of determining H2 presence and concentration. But this stuff I read before can, can like stain your, <laughs> stain your, uh, your table or your counter here. So I'm going to put this here. Well, I'm going to put, here's a, maybe it's hard to see, six millimeter line here. So six is right about there. Okay, that's five. So one above that is six. I've got to go up a little bit higher. It's hard to read this number here. Okay, that's now at the six milligram mark. And we put the drops in, one drop equals um, 0 0.1 parts per million or milligram per liter. So this will help us determine how much we have to drink. So one drop. And after each drop, you have to give it a stir. Okay, let's... Six is uh, right above five, one above five. So it's hard to see. You might probably want to mark it off with a marker or something. Uh, now we went You see how very quickly it gets pretty blue. Three. So now let's go over to here the seal break. It's a good sign you have a lot of hydrogen gas in there. Seal is a little bit uh, coming off. This is a new unit. I have another video on the new guy. Oh, look, there we got some. There it's coming out, the ozone. That answers my question for my other video. That's cool. I'm going to put this in. All right, so now let's put a little bit of this into here. Well, six milliliters, which is right there. That's cool. So it does, uh, the ozone does come out the bottom. That's really what I wanted. Uh, is that six, five, six? Yeah, perfect. Okay. And now we start with the drops. Let's get a little bit closer here. You see it pretty quickly. Um, you see right away the difference. The tap water was immediately what was it? Three drops. It was it was tapped out. Two, because you take this number of drops, and he said you can put a bunch in in the beginning because it's just gonna keep 
dissolving to clear. So we'll do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's stop at eight, see how that works. Still dissolving, eight, okay, very good. So that looks, you need it to turn dark blue, and then you're, you've reached your, uh, your calculation that you need. You see it's getting a little bit uh, brownish. 10, 11, each one will slightly stir. And then 12. Thirteen. And then fourteen. And then fifteen. Getting pretty close now. And then sixteen. Almost there, you need to be dry 16. And then 17, that looks to be like that'll be it. There we go. 17 drops of the H2 Blue Hydrogen Test Reagent. And then what we see that, uh, you can see here my crudely drawn chart maybe. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, get a link to our read valve. So basically, what it works out to is uh, drop times 0.1 or 0 0.1 um, par uh, parts per million equals, sorry, sorry, drops times 0 0.1 equals parts per million or milligrams per liter. So if we have 1.7. Uh, you'll see uh, half liter, liter, two liter. So we have to drink about uh, 1.3 liters of water of, of this uh, hydrogen infused water a day to get, um, you know, what many consider a good amount of, of hydrogen infused water into you to help, you know, help you get optimal health benefits, hopefully, potentially from this water. So very interesting. All right, now we're just gonna pour the water in here and give it a little bit of a, bit of a taste. Delicious. And now we know that the water from the tap, actually it was the water from here, from this uh, Bar Le Duc natural mineral water, you know, um, good stuff. And tap water had the same, I did the tap water too, same exact score, two or three drops. That's, that's like, you know, barely no hydrogen in the water you're drinking out of your tap, uh, or out of even bottled water, same thing. But if you then take the bottled water, and I'm curious if this has an effect on the hydrogen. I got to test that at the time. So I took it right from here. Now, normally I'm using this water sitting for days. I'm, I'm rotating it through the water egg, as I call it. But you just saw that this has definite, definite, much higher hydrogen uh, concentration than normal water or even, um, you know, so-called expensive mineral waters. So that's why we do it. That's how we test it. And it looks like this device is pretty good. Uh, the bottom is expelling the ozone like it should. And the uh, uh, rush is a little bit of extra water that comes out. And... Uh, yeah, you know, it's really neat and it's delicious. I don't like to drink out of that, I like to keep that clean. I just drink it out of glass. And um, I think it's been one of the key reasons to help me lose these 15 kilos over the last few years. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Hope this helps.